Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, July 1st, 2019. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Henry's Memorial Wesleyan Holiness Church is celebrating its 100th anniversary under the theme Embracing Our Heritage, Invigorating Our Ministry, Making a Difference for Eternity. The church held its centennial anniversary service at the church on Sunday, June 30th, where senior minister in the Nevis Island administration and area representative, the Honorable Eric Evelyn delivered brief remarks. I salute the church for its solid contribution to the building of our community and the island. This church would have started from very humble beginnings and has over the years blossomed into one of the most powerful religious institutions in Gingerland and Nevis on a whole and making it a force to be reckoned with. This church has contributed immensely to our community. The church has served and served with distinction. Yeah. I want us as we celebrate to remember the pioneers of this institution. It is because of their vision why we are able to be here to celebrate today. And so we must pay homage to the founders and all who would have labored in the work of this church. Their hard work has certainly paid dividends. Minister Evelyn congratulated the church on behalf of the Nevis Island administration. As you celebrate, please continue to be mindful of your purpose here on earth. Never lose sight of your mandate, bearing in mind that if ever our people and island needed prayerful support, it is now. You must continue to reach out to especially our young people so that they can refrain from antisocial behavior and we can enjoy a society free of crime and violence, and one where peace abounds. I take this opportunity on behalf of the Nevis Island Administration, the good people of my constituency of St. George Gingerland, and in particular the people of Handy's Road, the Empire Sports Club, the Boys Together for Change, and on my own behalf, heartiest congratulations to the Henry's Memorial Wesleyan Holiness Church on this your milestone anniversary. May God continue to bless your ministry in this part of the vineyard as you continue to touch, bless, inspire, and impact lives in this our beloved country and further afield. A number of activities took place leading up to the celebration of the 100th anniversary, including a bonfire, gala and awards dinner, and a drama production. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs Swimming Clinic began on Saturday, June 28th. A number of females, including Junior Minister of Health and Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, attended the first session at Paradise Beach. I am very pleased to know that 30 plus persons have signed up for this very important training. Some years ago, we had a similar exercise and I think it had to be aborted for some reason or the other. But this time I am confident that we will go the full term, which is three months, and that by the end of three months, everybody will be able to learn to swim. And um, the, the idea of the swimming clinic came to mind because and everybody, are all aware, we are all aware that um, some 40 plus years ago we had a serious disaster in Nevis and even up to the, today 40 plus years on we still have quite a bit of persons who are still not able to swim we are on a small island with water around us and what reasons do we have for not being able to swim so I'm starting with the women because I believe that the ones they can swim then they will in turn teach their children to swim the minister says she has high hopes for the participants ladies I am confident that you will be able to swim. And I am pushing you to the point where I want to see a few persons take part in the cross-channel swim very shortly. A total of 36 persons registered for the three-month swimming clinic facilitated by the St. Kitts Nevis Coast Guard. As a pioneer for turtle conservation representing St. Kitts and Nevis, Lemuel Pemberton is a recipient of the Points of Life Certificate, an award that recognizes outstanding individual volunteers, people who are making a change in their community. 
Through the Nevis Turtle Group, Pemberton is pioneering sea turtle conservation across the island and beyond. The award was presented by the Queen's representative, His Excellency Governor General Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton, GCMG CVO QC JP, on Thursday, June 27th. Their certificate, which is signed by Her Majesty the Queen, recognizes his work in the conservation of sea turtles on the island of Nevis as an outstanding example of the promotion of conservation and nature. According to a press statement, His Excellency congratulated Mr. Pemberton on this significant achievement and wished him well in the continuation of this important ecological undertaking. In 2016, Mr. Pemberton was involved in the release of baby turtles in Nevis by His Royal Highness Prince Harry during his visit to St. Kitts and Nevis. As per information disseminated by the Commonwealth Points of Light website, Pemberton said he is humbled to be nominated to receive this award. He said it came as a total surprise to him and thanked the persons in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and any others for considering him. He said he is delighted to receive the Commonwealth Point of Light Award on behalf of the Nevis Turtle Group and all the persons and organizations that have supported them in their conservation efforts since the work started in 2001. Still to come, deadline for independence theme competition extended to Wednesday, July 3rd. The details after this break. Jump up, free up, better up, no standing up, love, fashion, pride, culture, I'm a party fight, music, folklore, pageants, and so much more, love, fashion, pride. Join us from July 25th to August 6th for the Caribbean's greatest summer life. It's Culturama 45. Love, passion, pride. 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 Culturama 45. Welcome back. Wednesday, July 3rd is the new deadline date for the 2019 Independence Theme Competition. The theme must be concise, memorable, and no more than six to eight words. It must focus on community spiritedness and love of country and reflect the country's history, current realities, and the common or shared future to which all citizens should reasonably aspire. Written entries must be submitted either A by emailing to independence.themeskn at gmail.com or to william.hodge at moeskn.org or B by delivering a hard copy to Mr. William Hodge, Permanent Secretary in Education or into the drop box at the entrance to government headquarters or at the Department of Education, Marion Heights, Nevis. Entries for the theme competition are accepted from persons of all ages who are citizens and residents of the Federation. Members of the Independence Committee, its subcommittees and government ministers are not eligible for submission of entries to this competition. A maximum of two submissions will be accepted from each entrant. All themes or slogans entered into the competition must be original. Used or plagiarized entries will be disqualified. All entries become the property of the Independence Committee. The name, address, telephone number or cell phone number must be entailed in each entry. The following is a public announcement regarding the 2019 National Honours Awards nominations. The general public is invited to submit nominations for the conferring of awards in the categories of the Order of National Hero, the Star of Merit, and the Medal of Honour. Nomination forms, which may be obtained from the Premier's Ministry, situated on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate, must be completed and returned to the Ministry no later than Friday, July 26, 
2019. The nomination forms can also be submitted directly to the Secretary of the National Honors Awards Committee at Government Headquarters, Bastyr St. Kitts, no later than Monday, July 29th, 2019. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.